Okay, over here to the right, we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on here. We've got 12 watch styles, which I've labeled as styles A, B through L. And we've got these five boys, V, W, X, Y, Z. And here's a successful outcome. At least two of the boys pick the same style. And by the way, these boys are like each sitting at home, perhaps, and checking a box for which style of watch they want to receive. It's a graduation present, something like that. So they could all pick the same style. Uh, they could pick all different styles. <clears throat> These two rows represent success because at least two of the boys have picked the same style. The last two rows depict failure because none of the boys have picked the same style. Uh, even though the same five watch styles were picked, these are different events because different boys got different watch styles. <clears throat> so to calculate uh, the probability that at least two boys choose the same watch type of watch, the easiest way to do this is to say one minus the probability that no two boys pick the same watch. There's no pairs. Uh, in a, in a failure outcome. And over here, to calculate this probability, we would like to know what are the possible total number of events in the denominator. Well, since each boy can pick the same style if they want, boy V can pick one of 12, boy W, and so on. So 12 to the fifth is what's in the denominator. And how many different possibilities are there for the 12 watches that are picked? Since the order matters, which is kind of indicated by these last two rows here, because this event, ABDHL, is different than HLBDA, even though it's the same five watch that we want to use permutations instead of combinations. And so there's the calculation right there. 1 minus the permutation of 12 things taken 5 times divided by the total possible number that comes, which is 12 to the fifth. <clears throat> that happens to be um, oh, I'll get my calculation from Desmos and display here. Edit, copy. There you go. So it looks like choice D is the probability that at least two boys will choose the same style of watch. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.